We got fortune cookie soap. Uh, this is their spring box. My name is Lainey and this is my sidekick Chris. You're gonna find our information somewhere around here. I'll put it in there. Here. It'll be there. Anyway, so this box um, is of course a quarterly box and it is $25. It does include a $10 uh, credit towards whatever purchase in the shop. So this particular box is it's called Let It Grow which is an homage to Dr. Seuss, which I didn't realize until Chris told me because I was like, I don't get it. Usually there's a theme. I don't know what was wrong with me. I have been sick, so. Um, so this is what the card looks like. And uh, this particular collection launches Friday, February 19th. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read off the stuff for you and uh, we will smell it and tell you what we think. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with the fortune cookie soap first. This one is called Guardian of the Forest and basically it is a uh, bouquet of spring flowers and a squeeze of fresh cut lemons. Okay, so there it is. It's a yellow with like some brown speckles in it. Ooh, nice. Um, it's florally, mm -hmm. uh, kind of citrusy. There is some citrus in it, yep. Uh, let's see what it says on here. It says, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees and the trees have no tongues. Um, I don't know if I like it. So let, let me just, just put a disclaimer on here first. I am not a fan of flowery scents. It makes me sneeze. So I, while I might say I don't like this, that doesn't mean that if you uh, like flowery scents, this might not, this might be for you yeah. and not for me. Just putting that disclaimer out there. I do like the lemon smell, but I just feel like it's too flowery for yeah. me. Okay, so that's the shower steamer and it's called Inorganic and it is lemons with parsley. Yes, okay. lemons with parsley, right. which sounds amazing to me. I love lemons and I also like it when people mm. have like an herb that, that yeah. goes alongside of it. Yeah, I Ooh, like I that. Like that. The, That's the good. The parsley's giving it like a Ooh. freshness. Don't breathe into it. It'll like explode all over your face. And the parsley is like a nice freshness to it. it and then citrus is always like a nice fresh clean scent mm. anyways. My and problem really with well. the steamers though is that I feel like, at least in my bathtub, they don't last very long. Yeah. They kind of like put them in there and then they're gone. But I like the smell a lot. Have you ever tried using those as like a bath bomb type of thing? Oh, I Is haven't. That, that might be a good alternative. Yeah, you. for sure. Cool. Um, we'll go with this one next. All right. That one is called Unless, and it is a new thing called a petty bomb. And yeah. basically, what you do is you put it in your foot bath. Um, as far as the scent goes, fresh spring water with a hint of algae, hyacinths, water lilies, dirt, oak moss, earthy woods, and resin. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like the musky earth tones kind of going with it. It is very earthy, yeah. <laughs> it's more of a male masculine kind of scent, I would say. Mm -hmm, very true. I like, I kind of like it. Okay, so this is the OCD, which is their hand sanitizer. It's called this thing, question mark. Um, basically, it is orange with vanilla, citrusy lemon, and delicate florals. So it sounds mostly like what I would like, but these my are always thing, bad. Yeah, my thing with them is I always feel like I can't smell it because I'm getting the alcohol too much. Exactly. But usually when you put it on your hands, you, you get it a bit more strong. All right, let's try it. I still smell alcohol. Oh. Okay, here. I get it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm getting oh, a little okay. bit of the fruitiness. Oh, there's the floral. Okay. This is my problem. I keep putting these things on my skin and then I have to smell them later and it's oh, not good for me. Sorry. It's okay. So what is this one again? This citrus one is, lemon. it's citrus, lemon, vanilla, and florals. I wasn't getting the lemon or the vanilla. No, I'm not either. But yeah, florals, a little bit of citrus. Strong though. That's that's one thing they need to kind of pull back on. Mm, I think because yes. it's always like that with those. It but is. Anyways. Yep. All right. So this one is cuticle oil. It's called One C. C. And it is warm woods with patchouli and a dollop of vanilla. Now patchouli is probably up there with my least favorite scent of all time. Um, that and lavender. Um, this is definitely a male scent, in my opinion, but if you like musky scents, it might be for you also. But I can't take it. I can't even smell it. It's oh, bad. Okay. Well, I won't pass it to you then. I, it is a very nice smelling cuticle oil. I would say you could probably also use this as just like a scent. I don't know. To me, I think there's enough sweetness coming from it, from like the vanilla. 
I'm getting like a vanilla creamy smell coming mm. from it. That I think a woman could probably use this and For sure. not feel bad, but it does have a little bit some musky since in there like the patchouli. Again, it's so. not my not my wheelhouse I in like this it. sense. Yeah. It's kind of sweet. Okay, <laughs> this I actually put my on my skin and it was a mistake for me. Oh. And I actually started sneezing. This is called Paradise Found and it is a petal perfume because you can see the petals inside of it. Mm. It's freesia, rose petals, mangoes, and strawberries darkened by tonka bean and amber. And I was really excited because I wanted the mangoes and strawberries to really come out because I usually like their perfume scents. But this one, I feel like, was just far too uh, flowery. There's a lot of flowers. I get a little bit of the mango, but yeah, it's I can't. Very I can't even. So. I had to wash my hands after I put this on. <laughs> I was so sad too because I think it's really pretty. I like the the petals in the yeah, bottle, but that's really neat. So one of my favorite type of items is their whipped cream. Always a favorite for me. This is called Disco Tree. It is a berries, a lily of the valley, and sandal. Yeah. Okay, I can definitely smell the berries, and I can kind of smell the sandalwood. Yeah, I would say- This might not be one for me either. I would say, I feel like the flowery scents in there are a little bit more subdued. They are, but they're enough. I can just feel it. Like, I have yeah. this like, yeah. All right. This is probably my favorite scent in the whole box. Save As you can tell, last. I haven't been a big fan of these scents. This is my favorite. This one's called O'Hare, and it's a shampoo bar. It's peach nectar, grapefruit, and thyme, which- oh, yeah. There's no flower in here at all, which to me, like, I'm really happy that they put the herb in place of the flower. Yeah, the, like, fruitiness, the the herb, it makes it smell like, what did I say? Like a Jolly Rancher? Or yeah. Like, but, like, something like that. Like it, a Yeah, because candy, there's, like, a, the peach sweet. is just so, it's like those peach ring things yeah. that you, yeah. Yes. That's it. Um, I hope they come out with this and other products, not just in the, the shampoo bar. Mm. Like, I like their shampoo bars, but my problem is I need conditioner. And by the time I've washed the shampoo out of my hair, it no longer smells like this. It makes oh. me sad. So I hope they come out with another one. I would buy this mm. in whipped cream. Totally. Oh, yeah. This would be amazing. Or like a Mist Me perfume oil uh, over. Definitely, this is my favorite. What is your favorite? Yeah. I was say that one and the whipped cream are really good. Though mm. I did like the cuticle oil was still mm. really good. And this um, guy. Yeah. Whatever this was again. That was a Petty Bomb. Oh yeah, because you use it with your feet. Mm -hmm. So that is the spring fortune cookie soap. Um, this past year and, and coming up, they're actually like stepping their game up as far as collections and things that they're putting out with themes. So um, I was really kind of sad because I really wanted their Doctor Who stuff and they sold out and I didn't get any and I really wanted the fish fingers and custard whipped cream because <laughs> yes, if you watch Doctor Who and you know what that is. Um, I bet, I guess in March they're restocking Oh. Um, they've already sent out an email, so hopefully I'll be able to bring you some of those products. Uh, if I can get my hands on them, that would be amazing. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, if you guys know of any uh, good uh, independent like Bath and Body makers from like Etsy or places like that, let us know. Put it in the comments below. We'd love to try out new companies. We love giving some people shout outs that make some great products. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep calm. Stay zany. Bye bye.